Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I'm not sure how to put together this video, but um, okay, we'll start with I was doing comments, and under the one where I had asked for prayers, Beth, our sister in Christ, Beth McHugh, had asked for prayers for her, um, did she call it eczema, ha, hives? Okay, I don't have it pulled up. Now I don't know. Anyway, our other sister, Tessa, mentioned some things that she was on for her problem for chronic uh, eczema and hives. Can you imagine getting hot? Most people get hives if they're really super allergic to something and they'll get rid of them and then that's it and they know don't eat that anymore or don't get around poison ivy anymore or whatever but she has it chronically well so anyway she looked up um uh, did a google search or whatever you know she used her favorite search engine she didn't tell me and got several articles on apple cider vinegar and its uses and when not to use it so um, long story short you can do a search yourself and read them yourself because I don't really have time to do like nine videos or to read all the information for nine sites so just know that you can take antacids there was, there was like Zyrtec and Zantac in combination. You need to, to know the right combination. And I'm not going to um, advise you on what you should put into your body. I'm advising you to do your own search and find out what others have taken. And decide for yourself if you should take these things based on what else you're already on make sure they don't counter contradict counteract am i saying the wrong word counteract with your other medicine if you have to you take them so many hours apart whatever there are drugs like that but you can't take apple cider vinegar at the same time as those drugs okay now, what I do want to share is something for cat owners, okay? Or it may be for dogs, too. But it's called, it's a drug. It's injectable. You would get it from your vet. It's called Convenia, like convenient. It's a one and you're done kind of thing. When your cat, uh... Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, and dogs. Okay. Convenia, manufactured by Zoetis, Z-O-E-T-I-S, is an injectable, long-acting antibiotic that is labeled for the treatment of skin infections in cats and dogs. It exerts its antibacterial effects for approximately one to two weeks, but stays in the body for over two months. And this is in contrast to antibiotics that are rapidly cleared from the body and need to be administered one to two times per day. That's how we're used to giving them or taking them, right? One or two times per day or more even. All right, now it's saying that sounds great, right? Yeah, let's take it to the vet and get some of that convenient. Then we won't have to worry about shoving pills down her throat. Well, unfortunately, the old adage, this, uh, this is my online vet. I'm sorry, I should have started with that. This is Friday, April 9th. It's 4.37 p.m. And this is an article from Dr. Jones. I get one every, at least every week. No more than that because he's saying, Welcome to Friday. I know I get one on Monday. Cheery Tuesday. Happy Wednesday. 
<laughs> it might be daily. Anyway, um, you might want to sign up for this if you have pets. He has a book, drjonesnaturalpet.com slash books veterinary secrets revealed second edition ebook okay I could put that link in the description box but anyway this convenia can have serious and fatal side effects he goes on to say down here that unfortunately the old adage if it sounds too good to be true it probably is rings very true with respect to the use of convenia in some cases. Most people are aware of the fact that all drugs have potential side effects, with some being more significant or life-threatening than others. So we need to be mindful of these side effects when any chemical is put into a living being. Not just convenia. Not just animals. Get my point? That said, with regard to convenia, it is important to consider the fact that if a patient has an adverse drug reaction to convenia, there is no way to retrieve this long-acting drug from his body. There's no cure and no way to retrieve it. That sounds very true of something else we've been talking about lately that I can't talk about on YouTube. Hmm. There's nothing you can do about it once you've taken it. If an adverse reaction occurs after a short-acting drug is administered, the patient has a much greater chance of living through the event if other than acute anaphylaxis because the body will clear the offending drug hopefully within hours not months as in the case with convenia alright I'm gonna end it there um, so that's c-o-n-v-e-n-i-a convenia just think of convenient all right, I'm going to, um, all right, I'll click on catinfo.org. We'll pull that up, and I will put, uh, well, there's way more on there than about that. Feeding your cat. Um... I don't know that you'd want to read all that, but I'll put the link in the description box, okay? Let's see. And let me go back to emails, and I will click on Dr. Jones' book. And you can uh, see about that if you want to purchase that and download it to your computer. Okay. And he has deals on that, like when he has seminars. So, let's see, how do you sign up if you want to have... He has YouTube videos, so he probably has it on there. Let's look that up. Let me go to my YouTube video, my, my channel, and go to... Dr. Jones Veterinarian. There he is. Veterinary Secrets. Okay, so a dog 
Dr. Jones's free book, VeterinarySecrets.com, A Dog Walker is Shot for the Purebred French Bulldog He Was Walking. Dr. Jones comments, including what he thinks should happen. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's a sweet guy, and... Um, he gives you a lot of information on what you can do at home. He does state he cannot diagnose your animal because he withdrew his veterinary license. I forget when. So he's not allowed because he didn't want to be in there, I guess. I do not know why, but he withdrew it just like I... Well, I didn't exactly withdraw my nursing license. I just quit paying for it. So I'm licensed. It's just not, I'm not, what do you call it, certified? Because I didn't pay for it. Okay, I wasn't going to pay a couple hundred dollars a year when I couldn't work. All right, so I, that, that's the end of that one. And with that, I'll let you go, and I will talk to you later.